Hello, this is Seth from Northland Dodge in Prince George, and today we're looking at a 2015 Dodge Journey RT all-wheel drive. Under the hood, we have a 3.6-liter V6 engine and a six-speed automatic transmission. Let's take a look around. This guy is in the Fathom Blue Pearl Coat, and it looks fantastic. I really love the blue, actually. And it does come with halogen quad headlamps, super bright. And you do also have your fog lights right down there. It does also come in a pair of 19-inch rims, and they are chrome, and they look fantastic. They stand out very nicely and uh, gives it a nice look. It also comes with Komu tires, and uh, it does have the heated mirrors as well in the same color as the rest of the vehicle, and they look fantastic, and they will get heated up quite quickly, and it'll help you get going in the mornings, uh, seeing as it is uh, pretty getting pretty chilly out here. Now, back here we do have the Dodge logo, the Journey logo, and the RT logo right back there. There's a button on this side that unlocks it, and then this one is the handle, so you can lift it up. Now, you got some room back here as well. You can lift this guy up right here. Got a little bit more space down there. You can also pull these guys here and push these forward just like that. Oop, there we go. And now you got even more room. And it is quite soft as well, so if you need to put something on it, you're not gonna have to worry about uh, it getting scratched up at all or anything like that. You also have a little charger here as well as this little emergency flashlight. So if you ever uh, need to, you get a little flashlight back here. Perfect for camping or uh, if you need to look at something, it would be perfect. Okay, we got our keys here, so let's jump on in. So we got two presses of this guy to unlock it, one press of that guy to lock it, but let's unlock, or let's uh, start it up. It does have the remote start on it as well, right about there, which is very nice. It'll help you get going in the winter. It'll get your car all warm, and then uh, you don't have to go out in the cold before you're ready. But let's unlock her. Let's jump on in and take a look. So on the door here, we do have power windows, locks, and mirrors all right there, as well as a bit of storage there and a bit more right there. You got your key, off, or sorry, you got your lights here. You got auto, off, daytime running lights, and your low beams, as well as your in-cabin light controls right there. Now up here, you do have the options over your uh, turning signals, your high beams, and your, <clears throat> sorry, your windshield wipers. Over here, you do have your seat control, so back and forth, and your lumbar support right there. Now on the inside, keys are in my pocket. All we gotta do is put our foot on the brake and start her up. So now, in the center here, we do have our speedometer and our odometer, as well as we have our gas gauge and our fuel, or and, and, yeah, sorry, and our oil temperature. We also have, in the middle there, our speedometer, but we can change that. So we got it on speedometer right now, but we can change it to vehicle info, you got trip info, tire KPA, you got your uh, messages, you can turn the menu off if it's too bright, and you also got your fuel economy as well as what uh, channel you're on. So you can do all that from right there. You got that all right here, all the options. You also have your voice recognition and your call out button. You also have your horn in the middle. And over here you do have your uh, cruise control options as well. Always nice to have. And then around the back of the steering wheel here, right here, you do have a volume up and down button. And you have an identical one on the other side to change the channel. In the center here you do have an 8.4 inch touchscreen display with Uconnect. So you have AM, FM, and Sirius XM, and it does come with a year Sirius XM when you do purchase the vehicle. You got your player, you got uh, controls for your heated seats, steering wheel, you got your screen off, outlet, and your passenger side. You have all of your climate controls, as well as navigation, so you can uh, do all that through there, just like that, and do all that stuff. Then you got your phone options if you did want to pair a phone through Bluetooth or whatnot. Then you also have just your more options, which is your rear entertainment and your settings. Down here you do have your um, hazard lights, your AC, your circulation, your front and rear defrost, and your traction control. You do have your volume here, as well as your off button, your uh, heat up and down, the power here. Then you also have your off, your auto, and your uh, browser there. This guy has an SD card slot if you don't want to put an SD card in there. And then this is a CD player or DVD player. So then under here you do have a 12 volt charger, as well as a couple cup holders. And then this is your gear shift, so you just shift gears like that. And if it is in reverse, you do have your backup camera, which is super nice, always handy to have. In the, set, in the center here, you have your armrest, but it does double as a little box here, and you got some storage in there. You got a USB and an aux cord, as well as a 12 volt charger in there, and you can close that up just like that. Now, as well, you do over here have your glove box, and it is a locking glove box, so you can uh, lock it up and then no one can get into it if they did end up breaking in or something like that. Now you also have a sunglass holder up here. And then this guy is the controls over your sunroof. So just open that guy up. It is a little cold out there, so I don't really wanna open it right now. But uh, it will open, it's very nice, let some light in as well. 
right here you do also have a universal garage door opener so you can uh, set that up to your garage door and then you never have to have an extra one. Let's jump in the back here and take a look. So on the door they do have control over their own windows of course. They got the chrome accented handle, a little bit of storage there, a little bit more down here. And they do have a lot of room back here as well. You got some magazine holders there. These are the, uh, this one slides it forward and back. This one tilts it forward and back. And then this one you slide like that and it folds up so you can get into the back. Sorry about the sun there. Now you do have another two seats back there. So all together, you have seven, it seats seven people. And as well, you do have a bit of storage down here. You can open this guy up. And there's a little storage container under there. And you also have a DVD player. So you can open up that guy. And then you have a little screen here, nine inch screen. The DVDs go up front and then you can play things through there. As well as they have their own climate control. And down here they do have a uh, AVI plug-in as well as a char uh, uh, two different plugins. They could plug in a game station or charge their phones or whatnot. And there's your 3.6 V6 engine and it looks fantastic in there. It does also come with an engine block heater. Well, that wraps up my video for the 2015 Dodge Journey RT. If you guys want to come and take a closer look or take it for a test drive, come on down to Northland Dodge and Prince George and talk to one of our sales specialists. Thanks for watching.